All right, we're going to look at the ladder chart and check all the different products with divisibility rules. So let's make a table based on sevens. In other words, I want you to think of these numbers as weeks and these numbers as days. So one week, how many days? Seven. Yeah. And one times seven is seven, right? Mm -hmm. And here we're going to add one more week, another seven days. Yeah. So if we look at this, so one week plus one week is going to be? Uh, Fourteen. Fourteen, and yeah. that's how many weeks? That would be two weeks. Yeah. And how many days? That would be 14. Good. So would I put a four, four here and a one here? I love it. Cool. All right, so we're going to now cover this up. Okay. And we'll see that we're now adding one week to two weeks. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right, talk me through it. Well, first you have to add this, but All right, right here it does say it has to round up to, not round up, it has to it has to add up to 3, 6, and 9. The digits, yeah, when we get to that answer. And this one, this needed to be an even number, or it's not a 2 times fact, right? And it is, so it looks good. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead and figure out what 3 times 7 is by adding. So 1 here, then... So that was 11. You bring up another one here. I'm just going to put a dot. Okay. And then that will make it 2. So then you bring down the 2. All right. So 3 times 7 is? Um, 21. And we and can then, check that by saying 2 plus 1 is? 3. So. Yeah. And it's either 3, 6, or 9. Perfect. Oh, make that. No, I five. like it. All right. So now we add 14 to 21. So make this a 5. And then that is a 3. Good. 5 or 0 in the 1's place. This one is a 5. So that would match up. Now, Looks good. Eight is just an oddball. You just basically it's a blind leap. We gotta go for it, right? All yeah. right. So five plus one is six, and then three is five, fifty-six. All right. So what's that fact? Eight times seven is. Eight times seven is fifty-six. Good. So we're gonna go down here. We're gonna try to make mm -hmm. nine times seven. So we already know that eight sevens are worth fifty-six days. Mm -hmm. We're going to add one more week or seven more days. All right, so add up your days now, and you'll get nine weeks worth of days. So this will be 13. So you're going to put down a three. Put this again because we'll have another one. Okay. So that'll be six. Oh, wait. Yeah, six down here. Good. Now, what's true about anything times nine? What do you do with you, digits? It has, to, it has to, if you add them up, they have to make nine. Yeah. So. Is it working? Th Three plus six, yes, it is nine. So that would equal this. Good. All right, so we're going to do the last check. So one <clears throat> week plus nine weeks is going to be ten weeks. So add those days. We should get seven tens, right, or 70 if we do it mm -hmm. right. All right, go ahead. So this will be a one, zero. Then bring this over. So that'll be a seven. Okay. 70. And if you look back, you just added a zero to the end. Okay. And if you got that, you know everything is right in this chart. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. So the first thing you want to do oh. is compare. Then you're going to want to divide. Yeah. Then multiply. Then you want to subtract. Then this one you have to check your subtraction. Uh -huh. And then you have to bring them down. Okay. So while you tell me those steps one at a time, I'm going to do them over on this division problem, okay? So the first thing you do, again, you got to compare. Okay, I'm comparing 7 with one, uh, nope. I can get seven out of 14 though. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna stand right here. What's next? Then you gotta divide. Okay, so 14 divided by seven is two. Now you gotta multiply. Okay, two times seven is 14. Now you wanna subtract. Okay, four minus four is zero. One minus one is zero. What's now, next? Now you want to check it. Check my subtraction. Okay, I'm going to do that by adding one. Zero plus four is four. Zero plus one is one. Looks good. Now you're just going to want to bring it down. And I don't have anything left to bring down, so I must be done. All right, let's start tackling this big division problem. Here's the first step, and that's compare. Show me compare. So you can't get seven out of one. Mm -hmm. You can't get it out of 4, so you got to do 14. 14. You can get 7 out of 14. And your answer, uh, you should be standing right on that 4 of the 14, and your answer, your quotient, is going to go directly above you. You ready? Okay, so let me do the next step. The next step is to divide. So 14 divided by 7 is? 2, which will be up here. 
Good. All right, our next step is multiplication. So you're standing on the 2. Go ahead. So now 2 times 7 would equal 14. Good. All right, I'm moving down to subtract. So now subtract 14, 4 by 4, which would be 0, 1 by 1, which is also which is 0. Okay, now you're going to check your subtraction by adding up. Start with that 0. So 0 plus 4 is 4. Yep. 0 plus 1 is 1. Nice. And the next step would be bring down, but you don't have anything to bring down, so you're done. What problem are we doing? We are doing 175 divided by 7. Okay, walk me through the steps. So first we want to observe, so 7 cannot go into 1, can't divide that, so I'm going to put a 0. Okay. 7 can go into 17 though, so it can only go in twice. Okay, so you're going to move down, move your finger down one step and tell yourself what to do. Divide. Divide, okay, keep your pencil right there on the 7. Okay. Good. So 17 divided by 7 is? 2. Okay, write your 2 and keep your pencil on that 2. Yep. What's next? You have to times. Okay. 2 times 7 is 14. Good. So now I'm going to write 14. Good. My pencil. Yes. And then 14 subtracted by 17. Subtract. Wait, wait, say that again. 17 subtract. Let's start here. Let's just do it one piece at a time. So we've got seven minus. 7 minus 4, which would equal up 3. Okay. And 1 minus 1, 0. Okay. Simple as that. Okay, what's next? It's a check. check 3 your, yep. plus 4 is 7. Good. 0 plus 1 is 1. What's next? Bring down. So we've got to bring down that 5. Okay, now keep pencil right on it. What's the new number that you are just you just made? You're going to compare now. Yep, compare. 7 cannot go into 3, but it can go into 35. Okay. So um, move it down. What are you going to do now? Divide. 35. So, 35 by 7, which is um, 5. Okay, keep it up there. Move mm -hmm. this down. What's next? Times. 5 times 7 is 35. Good. So now we're going to subtract. Now, what we're going to want to do is check. 5 plus 0 is 5. 3 plus 0, 0 plus 3 is 3. Now, you can't, you can't bring anything down, so you got to be correct. All right, good.